We had great plans for the year. Lots of sports, band, and fall activities for my high school senior. My oldest was settling into college, and we were welcoming our first international exchange student. So when they called to tell me my mammogram was suspicious, my first thought was, I don't have time for this. In the weeks before we could confirm my diagnosis, each time I turned on the radio or pulled up my phone and my music popped on, there was a song about storms. I can't remember where I was when I told my husband. All I remember is his face, his eyes, his words when he looked at me and said, Lenore, I want you more than I want your boobs. We'll do what we have to do. And this was before we even knew if it was cancer. My mom had two different kinds of breast cancer eight years apart, and then metastatic disease eight years later. She survived 15 more years. Before I got the results of the biopsy, I knew. When my doctor called and said, I have some news, are you alone? I said, yes, but it's okay. I know what you're going to say. And she asked, how could you know? I told her about the music with the storms. And she said, you know, in the scriptures, there are a lot of storms and they always come to an end. You can't avoid them. You have to go through them. And I told God, if I have to go through this, make it count for something. Occasionally, we had suggested that my mom get genetically tested. I have 70 first cousins. My mom had four daughters, nine granddaughters, and five great-granddaughters. If there's a positive gene in there somewhere, it would have helped the rest of us girls to know. But like my mom, I never got around to it. I worried that information could be used against me by my insurance company. I didn't know what it would change for me, so I never educated myself. After my cancer was diagnosed, genetic testing revealed I had the CHECK2 mutation. It's related to breast, colon, and prostate cancer. So it's significant for the men in our family, too. Instead of being confining, knowing I have this gene has been freeing. When I went to have surgery, I said, I want them gone. I want to lower my risk as much as possible. I've almost made it through my storm. Now I want to use my experience to educate and support other people. I learned that any blood relative of mine could get tested for the CHECK2 mutation for free. So many people in my family got tested that the genetic center in Kingsport jokingly said that they're going to name a wing after me. That definitely counts for something. <laughs>